All right, so today I'm going to install a PZO siren in the uh, my triglide, and from uh, I believe it was 2014 and up, Harley has created that smart security system, and with that security system, you are able to purchase a siren for it. Now Harley's is a little bit different; it it has a battery backup, uh, but this one costs about 15 bucks and. Uh, it's pretty loud and it works pretty good and I'll do a demonstration of it uh, once we get finished here. Uh, to start we've got to take the left side cover off which we'll just pop that out of here. Rest that up on top and then looking down into the unit here the this is actually the security system here the plug that we're going to use is this one right here, which is 142B, if you're looking at a wiring diagram. And you just pull this off like that. And we're going to use two of the wires. The uh, siren that I have is actually this right here. And it's got a red wire and a black wire. Now on this connector here we've got a red wire, we got a green white wire, and we got a brown black wire. The two wires that we're going to use are the red wire which is power and the green white wire which is the signal. And we're basically just going to cut this casing back here, cut the wires, solder this in, and then we'll put this inconspicuously in the bike here. Um, I don't know if you can read that, it is the Radio Shack number see if I can get it focused for you. Yeah, there we go. Um, I think on the website now it actually has another zero. It's 273-0079. So, anyway, uh, that's what we're going to do. So, like I say, we're going to cut this back and then we'll be able to splice the wires in. Um, the other thing that we need to do is we're going to remove our main fuse because we are going to cut some wires and we don't want to have any accidents uh, hurting the motorcycle. Now this connector, it plugs in here and this is just really a hole. There's nothing there and we'll end up probably plugging that back in there. So uh, let's get uh, taking this guy in cutting it up a little bit. Obviously be careful not to cut the wires themselves. We'll pull that back a little bit. So we've got the black wire, the white wire, white green wire I mean. It's got a it's white and it's got a green stripe on it. And let's see if I can actually zoom it in a little bit more to show you those colors. So that's where it is, and we're going to now cut those wires and uh, get ready to hook up the alarm the speaker. We're going to cut those. I'm going to cut this back a little bit farther so that I can get a little more room to work with it here. Okay, now to show you uh, just a little bit of progress, I've cut the wires and I've stripped them back. And now I'm going to use some heat, heat shrink tubing, which is what this is. It looks like a straw. Um, and I've cut two pieces here that I'm going to use. And I'll slip those over the wires once, once we've soldered those in and then do a heat shrink on it and then that'll cover up the wires where the splice is. Now there's many other ways that you can go ahead and do this. Um, you know it's all up to you, it's just a matter of whatever you feel comfortable doing. Okay so I've basically just wrapped bare wire together there and I'm going to get a soldering iron and I'm going to solder those together. The uh, speakers over, the siren I mean is over here and then these are the two piece of the heat shrink tubing that I'll slide over that once I get this all soldered up. So let me get that soldered up and go from there. I don't know if you want, if this will show up or not, but I'm going to 
just to solder these wires here. Now that we've got the wires soldered together, then I'm going to slip the heat shrink tubing over it. And that will protect the cover of the joints themselves and not have any issues. Now to do heat shrink, you just light a match. Put it underneath and watch it magically kind of shrink around the wire. And there we have it. Now we've got our heat shrink around there and I'm going to take this and wrap it all up onto that black into that black sleeve and we'll then place it. Alright, it's all wrapped up. I'm ready to go. And I'm just going to, I'm actually just going to pop this speaker right under here as a wire and there's a nice little hole here that I believe it'll fit right in. I'm not going to put this side up. This side is the, you know, it's where the speaker is, but believe me, it makes a whole bunch of noise. So we're just going to slide it on in there. And maybe it's a little loose. I might have to put a little double sticky tape on there. And we just plug that back in there, and we're all done. And that's basically the installation itself. Um, next, we'll give a demonstration. I'm not well. I'm not sure how well you can see this, but. Uh, I've got the plug plugged in right there, and then the actual siren is then in the slot, which I'm guessing is probably for the siren, the, the, the Harley siren, which goes right here. I put a little piece of uh, tape up above there, that's what this white piece is here, and then I put a little another bumper stop down below there to hold it in. So. I think we're all set and we're ready to demonstrate it for you. Alright, so for demonstration purposes I've wrapped the security uh, key in aluminum foil so it won't set it off. Demonstrate that by turning that and I don't get anything on the bike. So I'm just going to set these over here. I'm also going to put some head ear, ear, ear muffs on too because it's pretty loud. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to violently shake the bike. It gives you some chirps of warning and then it'll go off. So we'll just kind of pretend we're some kind of stupid uh, bike thief trying to take it away. Okay, that was my first warning. There's my second warning. There's my third warning. until I get the key out or it'll eventually just shut itself off. But I'm going to take the key out of the foil. And that was it. The other thing you'll notice, the other thing you'll notice when you put this on is when you actually turn your bike on, you're going to hear this. And then when you turn your bike off, One silent chirp. So, hope you enjoyed it. It's real simple to do. I'll put a link for uh, to Radio Shack in the in my uh, comments and have fun.